Since 1998, Google has branched out from its search engine roots, dipping its hands into online advertising, cloud computing, gaming, and more. And with each new venture, Google actively seeks to track those that use its services. But as of last Tuesday, another contender has entered the search engine market, promising a system that balances privacy alongside customization. We'll take a look to see if these promises hold true as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, your technology insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to another episode of Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. With $20 million now under its belt from Salesforce, a new search engine known as U.com launched last week. While its web page and browser extension are still in beta testing, U.com is hoping to make a mark as it changes the way people think about search engine functionality. Rather than presenting pages and pages of search result lists like Google, U.com has adopted a tile-based format to display its search results. In turn, it's this grid system that encourages you to view materials from a variety of mediums. When asked why U.com was designed this way, co-founder and CEO Richard Soker said, there's too much information and no one has time to read it, process it, or know what to trust. A single gatekeeper controls the vast majority of the search market, dictating what you see, too many advertisements, and a flood of search engine optimized pages. Think of it this way, when you search a topic on Google, the first thing you see is usually written content with links and snippets of said content listed below. If you want to compare those results with Google's news and video results, well, you're forced to toggle between the different sections that Google has listed at the top of every page. On the other hand, U.com categorizes its results somewhat differently. For one, blog posts, images, social media posts, videos, and more all populate within the same tiled layout. These posts are then categorized into different sections, yet all remain viewable at once. In turn, if you're signed into an account with U.com, you can then upvote or downvote categories to help the system understand which content is relevant and better tailor your search results. Essentially, U.com's goal is to make it easy to compare results across the web and ensure you're receiving information that appeals directly to you. But U.com isn't the first competitor to Google, and it surely won't be the last. Since 2008, DuckDuckGo and other companies like it have worked to promote the importance of search engine privacy. And while Google offers incognito mode via its Chrome browser, privacy settings are somewhat limited in the search search engine itself, as Google uses browsing data to provide advertisers with the ability to send targeted ads. In turn, it's through these advertisers that Google offers its services for free to the public. And noting that U.com has promised to never sell your personal data, track you online, or send you targeted ads, it's unclear how the company plans to sustain its new business model. Nevertheless, regardless of which search engine you choose, virtual private networks, better known as VPNs, serve as one of the easiest and most effective ways of preventing cyber snooping. To learn how a VPN can help you mask your identity and location online, send us an email at marketing at rocketit.com. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.